channel of this it's Veronica and today I have for you an empties video and these are coming about so so quickly I think since I started to actually put things away that I use rather than check them in the bin I realized how much I use but but I've been focusing on samples this month as well so a lot so there will be two of these unfortunately two videos because I realized I have so many hair products that I can't went through so obviously hair colors as well so I want to talk to you about a bit of the hair color so there will be another video after this one where I'm gonna do the hair empties only as well so this is where I keep my empties it's an IKEA shoe box and it just looks nice in the room so I keep my empties in my room so it's just on the on the side on top of another one of these IKEA boxes that it's full with spare bags and makeup bags <laughs> not too many of those either so <clears throat> yeah so this, this is where we are this is how we're looking so I'm just gonna pull things out hopefully not check the table not check the camera and let's just start with the big stuff because it will be a lot easier to do that first <laughs> so we have a Nivea or Nivea purifying cleansing gel uh, combination to oily skin no no I didn't like this one in one of my previous empties or a few of my previous empties I showed you the Nivea one blue and that's the one I like this one combination to my skin is combination to oily but this one just doesn't work for me so yeah unfortunately I won't be repurchasing that one then we have a Cafe de Bain Softening Shower Cream Sweet Vanilla Madeleine. Smells absolutely brilliant. Most of it was actually used by my mother and she loved it so much. I will be getting a one for Christmas. I'm gonna do Christmas. Mom, don't watch this. <laughs> Christmas. I don't think she watches my videos anyway. Uh, Christmas. Ooh, we're not doing Christmas presents, but I'm going to do socks. So just fill them with like a little gift or something like that. So yeah, so she's gonna get one of those. It smells really good, good enough to eat, seriously. Then we have a scrub. This was a sample, well, it wasn't a subscription box. This is the Grounded Coffee Scrub sample pack. Smells very heavily of orange and chocolate. I used it on the face and it worked really well. I used the rest of the body, it worked really well. I think it's just a little bit overpriced. So, unfortunately, I won't be getting one of those. Why am I putting it in the bin? But I'm quite you know, happy to go online and see if I can make my own scrap, coffee scrap. It's just, I think it's like 20 pounds or God knows how many grams, so yeah. Now we have another one that features quite few. often. I do wear contact lenses, that will be a video because I'm in the process of having my tests done and having them change to a different type of contact lens. So what I'm gonna do is probably talk about my, it will be a talk video and talk about my experience with contact lenses and stuff like that so and glasses and how long I've been wearing glasses I'll be probably writing down a few questions and topics just to cover some people might be interested in it I would so this is the complete contact care by Vision Express that's what I go to this is the peroxide system so yeah 250 more bottle I have a few of those in backup as well uh, then we have two of the <coughs> Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Removers, 125ml bottles. These are the, you've seen them, I use them all the time, every single empties they will be in. These are the ones that have got two solutions in and then you just shake them and mix them. And one of my subscribers, was it Caroline? One of my subscribers, she um, told me that they were on offer three for five, I think it was. Five pounds, three for five pounds, and as the subject up. Sorry, it was, it was, you know, you will know what I mean. <laughs> you will know what I mean, Caroline. I think it was Caroline. Yes, I think it was Caroline. And if I got that wrong, I do apologize, and thank you very much for telling me. And if you know what they on sale again, I do need more. So yeah, <laughs> and they just they they just work really well with me, my routine and everything. So I will take up my eye makeup and my face makeup with it. It leaves a bit of an oily residue, but then I go and wash my face and then I take the rest with a cleanser. So I've been working on my skincare and it's been getting better. So Then we have the Large Posay Effaclair Purifying Foaming Gel for Oily Sensitive Skin. That would basically scrub my skin. Or well, combination would be better, combination oily. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, this particular range not brand because brands the large pose it's the range that they do it's 
no, it dries up my screen, sk screen, screen too, skin, <laughs> dries up my skin so much. I could use this maybe once a week, but that would be it. And she's not worth the money because I think they retail for like £12 each. So I did buy three because they were two for three. So I bought three to try out. And if I can, fingers crossed I haven't thrown them out because I was going to do a review on the three of them originally but I'm if I if I have them I will do if I don't I do apologize I wouldn't but I wouldn't I won't buy them again then we have the Tanya Bear cosmetics individual lashes as you can see the long ones are still there it's just they're way too long for me so I'm never gonna use them I like the short or the medium ones even the mediums one might be a little too long Christmas parties are approaching and I actually been to one and there is another one next week and you know, obviously the long lashes could work there. Not for me. I'm not that kind of person. I have my eyes are quite deep in, so I like to sort of have just a bit more not length, just volume. So unfortunately those are going. But I'm really well, I've been enjoying the Ardell ones, which are you literally just get mediums. I think if she came up with shorts only and mediums only, I would be getting them because they're really good and the glue is brilliant. So if I get Anything it will be if I get them again, it will be because of the glue. So the quality really good. I just wish she came up with just shorts and just mediums as well. Then we have the spotless skincare nose pore strips. Yeah, didn't work at all. Unfortunately, I tried them different ways. Obviously, you have to wet your face and just put them on. And it just they the cups that kept peeling off. So no, I won't be repurchasing those ones. Then we have my. Mathel wax, <laughs> it plugs for nose reduction. Um, I do, I can't sleep without these. I actually opted out for a different one. So these are the wax ones. I bought silicone ones and I just I slept like a baby. <laughs> these were given to me by a friend. So yeah, he did really, you know, he, he he recommended them to me. And when I was when, on holiday with my mum, she snores like nobody else. <laughs> it's, I think it's the age now. Um, sorry, mum. <laughs> I hope don't, don't watch this video. And yeah, so they were brilliant. Unfortunately, they were hurting my ears, my bone structure around my ears. And even though they were really, might, might be really soft, and you have to like blend, like put them into cones, like blend them into a cone, and then pull them into your ear. And they were just not really. They were brilliant at nose reduction, just were hurting my ears. The silicone ones I'm a bit a little bit allergic allergic to. Uh, or it just might be because I wash my clean my ears a lot more. Oh. It's not coming out very well, is it? So yeah. Nose reduction plugs. <laughs> and then we have the number seven translucent perfect light loose powder. And it's all gone, all gone, all gone. And I already bought new ones. So there will be a haul again as well. And I've just, I love this. It's just really, really good. Really, really good. So it's, I keep saying this, but uh, Mrs. Ginger's Beauty, she compared it to the Laura Mercier one and apparently it's a dupe. So I don't have the Laura Mercier, so I can't tell you. But I will link her video below so you can go and check it out and see for yourself. And I just adore it. I keep saying it's like £12 or something like that. It's actually £10.50, I think. And yeah, so definitely worth the go. Plenty of product there as well, 20 grams. So. Brilliant. Now we're moving on to the samples that I used up. Let me just put them all on the table. And before we go to the samples, because plenty of them there. One, two, three, four, five. Five bags. Woohoo! These are the Wilco Soft Soft Maxi Oval Dual Face Cotton Pads. It's 50 for basically, I think, 49p or 50p. And I love them. These are the best one I have ever tried. So I'm going to the town today and I'll be picking up a load more. And I use them for nails, face, makeup, um, any dirt anywhere else as well. So for a little bit of like clean my, wipe my drawers with it, my table and all sorts of stuff. So that's why I go through them so much. So five, five since last time, last empties. They're brilliant, they're really, really good. So yeah, I do recommend them. Go and try them out if you have a Vilco around you. they double-sided, so you have like um, one that's better for nails, another one that's better for face, so the, the surface of the pad. And they don't part, just really, really good, really good. Now we have samples. Let's do bottles first. So we have the Mario Badescu or Badescu, Badescu, 
Padachu? Padasco. Skin care, and this is the seaweed cleansing lotion. This was, this came in with my Beauty Bay order. There's another. This was the cleansing lotion, and there is a scrub, I think. In my bathroom, I don't know if it exactly is, it might be a scrub, yeah, I think it might be like a cleansing gel or cream or something like that that you use wet, this is just on the pan. And it was really nice, it was really, really good. It, if it wasn't as expensive, I would wait for a sale for this particular brand because I find it a bit expensive, but they're really good. So, you know, the scale, do I, do I pay more for something really, really good or do I stick to the one that I already know? So, yeah, but it was one... I used it for a couple of days together with the other one and I could, really could see my skin just get cleaning a bit more so just it was a strange thing to wake up in the morning and don't have a pimple on my face put it that way so yeah so that's the one then we have the Codile Codile Vinosaurs moisturizing sorbet really enjoy this nice sample it was in a subscription box most of these were with an order or a subscription service box so it was really nice i really like this brand then we have the regenerate advanced toothpaste um, i do have another one of these in the bathroom at the moment and i prefer sins line it was okay whoop, whoop, running away this is the ole Regenerate skin tone perfect in Kim. This was brilliant. This was brilliant. I am really good I'm gonna literally google it and see if, how much does it cost and money is and everything I know but you know I really I'm more of a makeup person. That's where I spend the money <laughs> and Skincare is like oh, yeah, I'll just grab Nivea <laughs> Although Nivea is really good or Garnier or something just from a you know Tesco's or Asda or something So I don't really search for things um but yeah, this one, this sample, again, from the subscription service box, was just brilliant. It just evened out my skin tone before I applied the foundation. So it was really good. So I'm definitely going to keep it on the side and so research that one. Then we have a Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. All day nourishing for all skin types. I use this as a moisturizer, so every, every morning. Very heavily honey scented. So if you don't like honey, oh, this is just... It's so so. It smells so beautiful to me, but it is heavily honeyed, and it just the texture is quite like honey as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, it was nice to try out. Not that I will be buying it, but um, if I have it in the box again, I'll definitely use it. Before I go to full packets, I think that's what they called. <laughs> I have uh, a perfume sample, which is the Versace Pour Home which is a really, really nice scent, so I'll definitely be looking into that. Then we have a Sephora Eye Pencil Eye Crayon, which I can't sharp, pen, sharp, sharp pen, and I can't twist out as well, so that's going in the bin. That's disappointing. Again, why am I putting in the bin? Because <laughs> I'll just take it downstairs. And then we have the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Hemingway, so Tattoo Ink Liner, this, this is a, a brown colour and it's just dried out. I do like the tattoo liners, they're probably, yeah, it's just completely dried out. Um, they're good on their own, but not with glitter or too much eyeshadow, so anything foiled, glittered, they just don't work on that. But um, if you're learning how to do flicks, definitely worth giving a go. And then we have a few full packets, just go through this. We have a Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pour Eraser, which I didn't like at all. Then we have the ooh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydra Firm Sleeping Cream, which was okay. Not that I would go and purchase it. The Sephora Instant Moisture Plus Cream was brilliant, brilliant, so I'm going to look and research that one. The Pericon MD Face Finishing Moisturizer. I don't even remember how this was. So, so that's how much it how much it left with me. Then the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I have two sort of more of a QB samples of as well. They work with some foundations, not with others. And then the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This was in 2C3 Fresco, which was a bit too light for me, interestingly. So definitely not a cool tone. <laughs> but I am I'm hoping to go to a, a, 
a sale order counter somewhere in, I don't think there is one in my town, but next time I'm in Birmingham or Coventry or something like that, I would like to go and get matched and get one of these because they lasted all day. I mean, the sample, I used it and it was just like all day long. My f just didn't batch, which was just brilliant because obviously running around, I get sweaty and stuff. So having this for Christmas party, if you, even if you don't want to clog your pores and wear it on every day basis, it's... It's just beautiful. It's also really, really good. <laughs> so here we are. This is it. This is the sample. I just realized I have a switch from my other video there. But uh, yeah, this is the empties for, well, I wonder how long since the last video. So I don't think it's been long enough. But I've been going through my samples. I've been going through my stuff. I am working towards 2017 and working out what I'm going to do. And yeah, so that, that's it all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm on Twitter and Instagram, so please do share. Maybe there's somebody else who will enjoy this video. I do like watching empties because you get sort of reviews as well. And um, so it gives you maybe like the Wilkinson pads, for example. I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of these. And it's good for me to tell you that they're brilliant. So if you can get them, why not? Yeah, so, so yeah, thank you very much for watching again. I keep saying this, so sorry, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.